This journal article presents a systematic literature review about educational practices in immersion technology K-12 education. It contributes with an HCI research agenda pointing at potentials and discussion points to consolidate and mature the research field. Our interdisciplinary research team and authors of this article come from the Arts and Computer Science Department of Aarhus University, Denmark. In this systematic review, we focus on emerging technologies that are rapidly being integrated into students' everyday lives, but their functions and implications are rarely understood due to their complex and distributed nature. We include five types of emerging technologies. Internet of Things, Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning, Virtual and Augmented Reality. The aim of this article is to provide a state-of-the-art review of emerging technologies in K-12 education. We conducted a critical analysis and synthesis of peer-reviewed archival and non-archival records published in English between 2010 and 2020 that focused on introducing or teaching emerging technologies in different educational settings. To ensure transparency and limit bias in the selection of literature, we followed the PRISMA scoping review guidelines and flow diagram. Additional columns were created for the deductive analyze categories. Now looking at the results, the vast majority of records included for the review were published in the last three years. Less diversity was found in geographical distribution of the institutions of first authors, showing a clear overpresentation of Western countries. The most common target group for learning activities for emerging technologies are students in secondary education, in particular grades between 8 and 10. Very few records specially addressed very young and underrepresented target groups. On average, 34 students participated in a single study. As for teachers, their role in learning activities for emerging technologies is fairly limited, with fewer than a third of all records, including teachers in the development, facilitation or evaluation of learning activities. Moreover, in-service and professional development programs, important to scale and sustain research-led initiatives, are scarce. Although learning objectives tend to lack operational detail in multiple progressive levels, it is encouraging that technology-specific objectives are often combined with a range of other objectives. These include the ethical and society implications of emerging technologies, design thinking, positive changes in students' attitudes, or a broad range of 21st century or transversal skills such as critical thinking and collaboration. A humanities perspective foregrounding the implications and design aspects of emerging technologies is generally either lacking or treated as an afterthought. More holistic approaches need to be developed which balance technology-specific objectives with a humanities perspective to promote more comprehensive understanding and skill sets. The format and duration of learning activities typically ranges from a single workshop to a few sessions of one or more hours. The preferred setting for these activities is formal education, followed by non-formal education, including after-school robotic clubs, science fairs, maker spaces, and summer schools. To scaffold students' learning in these settings, a wide range of pedagogical strategies are suggested in the literature. These are complemented with a range of other pedagogical strategies in varying combinations such as learner-centered and inquired-based teaching, authenticity and closeness, tinkering and reflective practice. Remarkable, only one-fifth of the records connected these strategies to existing corpus of learning theory, and often in an ad hoc manner. A wealth of digital learning tools to introduce emerging technologies in K-12 students have been developed. Machine learning tools are typically designed to glass box some aspects of the technology by black boxing others. Graphical user interfaces and block-based coding environments are mostly often used to 
enable students to develop, train and test simple machine learning models. But in a few cases, students engage in a more advanced programming to develop machine-powered applications. Internet of Things tools are often open source and combine existing with custom-made components and models to enable students to design and develop Internet of Things solutions. Augmented reality and virtual reality tools are predominantly programming tools that do not necessarily enable students to learn about the technology with an additional small group of authoring tools to create augmented reality and virtual reality game environments. The development of learning tools for augmented reality and virtual reality, these characteristics and implications provides opportunities for future research. Of the 65 records that present original empirical data, the majority evaluate learning tools and activities often together. Quality criteria to evaluate tools are directed towards usability and students' perceptions of and interaction with these tools, but less towards the underlying mechanics of these tools and how these contribute to students' learning. For learning activities, quality criteria include students' engagement, collaboration, their learning experiences and possible shifts in attitudes. A remarkable finding is that only half of the 65 records include summative assessment of students' learning. Summative assessment is narrowed directly to its students' technology skills and understanding, leaving out the ethical and society implications of emerging technologies. Based on our extensive mapping of literature, it is evident that education about emerging technologies in K-12 is not yet an established research agenda. Rather, the mapping reveals dispersed discussions around different research fields. Our literature review points to a range of potentials and discussion points that need to be addressed in order for this important research field to consolidate and mature. To address the identified research gaps, we contribute with nine trajectories for future research that involve a more holistic approach to emerging technologies. For instance, moving beyond the technical aspects of emerging technologies, foregrounding their characteristics in relation to society, and to develop cross-curricular approaches beyond STEAM subjects. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation. For further details on the study, we invite you to read the journal article.